Good morning, students. Today I'll give you a lecture on a very interesting concept power of 10. 10 is a very powerful number. Okay. Uh, why 10 is very powerful number? The daily life, the number system we use, that's called denary system. Denary system, that means base 10. Uh, those students who are studying computing and computer science, you know that uh, the language of computer is written by binary, that two digits. But over here, power of 10 daily life, uh, you want to buy something with the money, we use the base 10. Okay, that's a uh, denary system. What does that really mean? Okay, what is your favorite number? My favorite number, let's say, is four. So I'm going to write down three fours right here. Okay, four, four, four. Uh, if I ask you that if it's dollar, then you can say, oh, this is $444, okay? But what that actually means, this first one, that means four times one, that means four. And the second one, it actually means four. The way we place them is one to the left of this one, so it's going to, going to be 4 times 10 equal to 40. And this third one, okay, 4, 10 from here and 10 from here, that's going to be 4 times 100 equal to 400. Okay, and then you know that your addition 400 plus 40 plus 4, and that's going to be 444. So, pretty good. Now, if I want to observe these numbers, okay, this number can be written as 4 times 100 can be written as 10 times 10. Or we can go and do this 10 to the power 2. Okay, this is already on 10. We want to make that base 10. Okay, somewhat, somehow we're going to put every number uh, multiplied with number 10 with different power of course okay this one 4 times 10 to the power 2 this is already with 10 but it has a power 1 but what about over here if I put 10 then it's gonna be 40 okay but I need to put 10 so what can I do if you look this number and this number actually from here to here we subtracted 1 from the power 10 to the power 2 minus 1 that's 10 to the power 1 if I do the same thing over here see if I subtract 1 then it's gonna be 10 to the power 1 minus 1 10 to the power 0 and we know any number to the power 0 equal to 1 okay any number let's say x to the power 0 okay don't think this is degree x to the power 0 equal to 1 uh, 5 135 to the power 0 equal to 1. So any number with power 0 is 1. So 4 times 10 to the power 0 equal to 1. Okay, that's the power. Okay, every time we put a digit, uh, a number in a different place, okay, the left we go, we are multiplying each time by 10. Okay, instead of this, let me just draw some boxes. This is a box. This is a box, this is a box, okay? To go from this box to this box, you have to multiply by 10. From here to here, you have to multiply by 10, okay? Now, to come from here, to this, this box to this box, then we have to multiply by 10 times 10, that's 100 or 10 a square, okay? Now, this four was in the first place, first box, so it's, 10 to the power 0 and we call that ones. Remember 4 times 1? That there was 4 ones. So we call that ones. And then I put one over here another 4. Now this is the place we call 10. Now there are 4. So 4 tens. This place is known as tens. Okay. And this place over here we put this 10, 4 and that's going to be 400 so it's gonna be 100 place see 100 place and then I have four of them so we call that 400 
so this is hundreds okay now what about if we want to go further to the right okay we we went to left and we see that we are multiplying by 10 10 10 10 10 but what if we want to go on our right what can we do now now if we want to put some more four let's say i put more fours now this four over here i'm gonna just circle this one so you will know this four is this one here so this four would be see that we were subtracting number uh, um, uh, one from the power so here i had 10 to the power zero so for this four i'm gonna have four times 10 to the power zero minus one that means minus one i hope you understand that from here i subtract one so 10 to the power zero minus one that's gonna give me 10 to the power minus one so that's gonna be four to the power minus one okay now over here, zero, well, if you go to the number line, that's zero, then one, that's two, that's three. This is non-negative numbers and all this positive number. So over here, that's negative, okay? So to separate them, we put a small dot, okay? Let's say I put a small dot and that's called decimal. And this is our decimal system and denary system, okay? Base 10 is a decimal. So this four, what this four is gonna be, I think you already, uh, find it out that I have to subtract 1 from this power of 10 and that's going to be 10 to the power minus 1 minus 1 that's going to give me minus 2 and those of you who are really really expert in decimal system you know that whenever we have power 10 that actually means 1 divided by 10 denominator 1 and then this is 4 by 10 and this is going to be 0 0.4 Okay, that's my 0 0.4 over here. And in this case, 4 times 10 square, and then that can be written as 4 by 10 square means 100, and this 4, 2 digit, 1, 2, so point over here, that's that. Now we are ready to do. This is 4, this, this, this 4, 4 times 100, that's my 400, and this 4, 10, Place is tens so 10 that's gonna be 40 and that's 4 times let's say 10 to the power 0 that means 1 that's gonna be 4 and over here okay let's let me put um, 4 times 1 by 10 that gives me 0 0.4 and then 10 4 times 1 by 100 that gives me 0 0.04 now I can write down some points over here because uh, whenever we are writing point, a point and then zero to the right, it doesn't change the value. This is two decimal place. This is one decimal place. I can put a zero over here. It doesn't alter the value of it. It's zero, zero. This is zero, zero. This is zero, zero. So when we add it, that's four. That's four. Then we have point. Then that's four, four, four. Now this value over here, 400. $44.44 or we can say 444.44 now this place over here we call that let's me let me put with the different this is this is the point and then this is the other two boxes I used purple color that's and that and that's four and four let me use a different color here we call this tenth tenths and this is we call hundreds Okay, hundreds, tenths, that means divided by 10, divided by 100, that's that. Now in your O-level exam, some of the question comes like that. Let's say 7, 60, 5, point, 1, 5. okay. And they gave this 7 times 10 to the power A, plus 6 times 10 to the power b plus 5 times 10 to the power c okay plus 1 times 10 to the power c d plus 5 this 5 well oh, that's fine 5 10 to the power e and find the value of a b c 
D and E. Now you can do this one because 7 is actually 7 times 100 or you can write down 7 times 10 to the power 2. So comparing this and this you can say A equal to 2. Okay. Same way 65 uh, 6 6 times that's in the place of 10 so 10 that means 6 times 10 to the power 1 now comparing this and that we can say b equal to 1 okay uh, rest of them I'll just show you this that 5 that's uh, 5 times that's um, 1 so it's going to be 10 to the power 0 therefore c equal to 0 and in this case d it's after uh, one one digit after the point so it's going to be d equal to minus one and this five over here is going to be powers e equal to minus two okay that's how some of the question comes in all level exams and this is power of 10 you can see that wherever we put the um, uh, digit the position of the digit actually gives them more value or less value this four is lesser than this four the value of four this is 40 and this is only four but this one is 400 but if it's the other way of the other side of the point then it's even a smaller okay the places you put it gives the value of each of them each of the digits okay sometimes it's more powerful more expensive or more valuable than the other we call this place value okay place value system of our daily counting and this is power of 10 okay thank you for listening to this see you in the next video take care bye bye